So what have we got in the case? Then? Well, this is my first guitar. This is the one a poor old dad when I was 15. It's as close as he could get to a, to a real Fender Stratocaster. And yeah. these are called a Hofner uh, Super Solid. What were they made of? I mean, this is this wood, or is it sort of plywood? Oh, it's still wood. It's still wood, is it? wood, yeah. And they okay. still copied that. Oh, the, yeah, that little stratty thing there. Yeah. And with the very distinctive tremolo arm, the sort of contoured for the hand. I absolutely love this thing, even though, it, of course, it, you know, it wasn't the real object of desire. Well, there's one over here we can compare it with. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, one. there's. Here we are. There's the real... There's the latest... The real McCoy. They're almost identical. Look at that. Well, I think to the untrained eye, John, you know? <laughs> you ended up with that one instead. Yeah, uh, there was an old guy in the shop there. He used to... He's, 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 his head used to go around like his chin was always moving. And I still remember him saying, uh, stick at it, you know, as I walked out of the shop. Well, you uh, said stick at it. Well, he, he did. He told me to stick at uh, it. Not, you know. not to keep doing that, but... <laughs> You'll never make it. <laughs> and hopefully it stays in tune. Well, hopefully it does, yeah. yeah. It's actually in tune. Not too bad. Yeah. That's it's the like first chord that you learn as an E minor there. Isn't it? And it just makes that lovely, mysterious rocking noise. I never remember getting a lesson at all. But I would obviously be using the wrong fingers. I'd probably use my first two fingers. And, and I remember shaking all over. And then learning yeah. to damp, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I couldn't afford an amp, I didn't have the nerve to ask poor old dad for an what amp. What did you use then? I uh, blew up the family radio in fairly short order, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you'd get a little coaxial and, and oh, I remember stick that. it oh, on, and then yeah. a red and a black, and stick it in the back of the radio, you'd have one and a half watts of pulsating power, you know. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds pretty good, though, you know, for, I mean, for a first guitar. I mean, the one I had was the Rossetti Lucky 7. Do you remember those? Oh, please. Just because it was nowhere near a Strat doesn't alter the fact that you love No, no, I think it's, it, it's kind of important they kept it, you know. I remember not wanting to let go of it the day I got it, so it, it's possible that I slept with it. It could be. I said it was certainly by the side, by my well, side. Well, it's kind of the right shape. It's got that female shape, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, close, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. So Mark's first choice of guitar is his Hofner Super Solid V2, a Stratocaster replica with a black anodized metal scratch blade and tremolo arm. Bought for 50 quid by Mark's dad in 1964.